Hello, welcome back to my channel. This is Brad with Brad Unboxing. Uh, I want to apologize for this video being delayed and getting uploaded. Um, as some of you may know, I was in a car accident last week. Uh, it was a minor one, but it actually did a lot of damage to my vehicle. Um, I walked away from it, no injuries. But I have been having to deal with insurance and everything related to that and have just now been able to get around to getting this video um, created and uploaded. So again, apologize. I'm hoping to get back onto a schedule with uploading um, content every Wednesday at noon Hawaii time and then doing other uploads if it's a uh, like a special piece or related to maybe a holiday that's going on. But enough about that. Uh, a little bit of back history about today's piece. It was actually the first crystal piece that I purchased in May of 2017. Uh, my husband, Derek, who I've said is in the Army, we were back on the mainland visiting family and we were in the Minneapolis airport and stopped by the Swarovski store there and I saw this piece and I had to have it. So this is actually the first piece that I have purchased in my collection. And today's video, um, the piece I'm unboxing, was actually selected by one of my followers. Uh, he's also a co-worker of my husband, so shout out to Sergeant Curtin, uh, who selected this piece. But enough about that, let's get into our unboxing today. So this piece actually is in a different type of box. Um, Swarovski uses different shapes of boxes depending upon the size of the crystal. For their smaller pieces or what they consider mini, they actually box in this cylindrical um, style. They can be short like this one, tall, they get fatter or wider if needed. Um, you still have all the same information, pop it open, you still have your warning slash um, information about the piece as I told you before in the collector's world. We see this as more of kind of like the certificate of authenticity even though that's not exactly what it is. And then the piece of foam. And I'm gonna put gloves on right quick and I'll pull the piece out. Okay, and as you can see, this is a smaller piece. And here he is. This is Bruno, the French Bulldog. Um, for those of you who don't know, I am a big fan of the French Bulldog breed. I have a French Bulldog who lives on the mainland with my parents because I didn't want to put her through the stress of shipping her out here. And then while we have been stationed here for the past three, almost three and a half years, we were lucky enough to come across a French and English Bulldog mix at the Humane Society that we rescued. And he's actually in here today, surprisingly behaving. Most of the time he's walking around you can hear his nails loud on the floor but he is laying on his bed being a good boy but uh, I'll post a photo of him here in the video so you can see him his name is Ian he is uh, he's six years old and uh, when we get ready to leave the mainland here in a little bit we have booked um, airfare for him so he'll be going through a um, animal shipper who will be getting him through a um, private cargo plane and shipping him to the mainland so that he can live in Colorado with us. But back to the crystal piece we have right here. Again, I said this is Bruno, French Bulldog. Uh, Swarovski released um, four of these small miniatures of the animals. They also did a Saint Bernard, a Pug, and a Poodle and the French Bulldog, all with different names. Um, this one, as I said, is Bruno. But now we're going to take a look at the up close video so we can see the colors and all those mini facets that Swarovski was able to get on this very small piece. Irresistibly cute, this adorable French bulldog puppy named Bruno sparkles in clear crystal with gray crystal ears and a red crystal bow tie. With just over 55 facets beautifully capturing the light and reflecting it back, this piece of crystal is a perfect gift for any dog owner too. Alright, taking a close-up look of Bruno the French Bulldog. Here he is again, giving a size reference to my hand. Um, doesn't really stand up that well, just because of how small he is. But uh, yeah, 
definitely probably one of my favorite pieces. I know I say that with almost everything I open, but in my opinion, you can have more than one favorite when it comes to this. All right. Well, thank you for watching the video today. Please make sure you leave your comments below and like and subscribe to the channel so that way you get updates when I release new content. You can also find me on Facebook page. Again, this is Brad with Brad Unboxing.